this past weekend definitely wasn't a good weekend for Jamal Charlo, to say the least. Now Jamal Charlo is being accused of assaulting event staff. And to make it worse, they're accusing him of doing it to a woman. Well, I got the footage so y'all can see it for yourself so you don't have to run around and make assumptions because you know how people like to stretch situations and make it a lot more than what it really is. And we're going to talk about it in this video, but before we do that, make sure that you hit my like button and sub to the channel if you're not already subscribed to my channel. Jamal Charlo, like I said, to say the least, saying that he had a horrible weekend this past weekend is an understatement. You know, getting slapped by Kayla Plant, and then it gets worse that your wife gets beat up by your brother's wife, and then you get into it with your brother. It was just all chaos with Jamal Charlo this weekend. And you know, man, I feel bad for Jamal Charlo because we all know that Jamal Charlo he been going through a whole lot in his personal life. Jamal Charlo has been going through so much in his personal life, he haven't even been able to get his head right to get in the boxing ring. And then to make the matters worse, when you hear Jamal Charlo doing interviews, you know, when he goes on Instagram Live, you can tell that Jamal Charlo is either on drugs or he's heavily medicated to where he can't put sentences together correctly. He can't put his words together correctly. He's slurring and it's just all bad with Jamal Charlo. And then he's seen his brother, Jamal Charlo, take the biggest fight of his career that he had on the table for himself to make millions and millions and millions of dollars. His brother Jamel Charlo came and took that fight right up under his nose because Jamal Charlo, he wasn't mentally stable to be able to get in the ring and fight Canelo Alvarez. And that's a fight that Jamal Charlo has been clamoring for ever since 2015 when they was at 154 pounds. And then at 2017, he became Canelo Alvarez's mandatory at 160. So he's been trying to get that fight for the longest time, but it ain't Jamal Charlo who's going to get that fight, it's Jamel Charlo. So we know that Jamal Charlo has to feel some way about that, knowing that his brother was able to get that fight, all because you wasn't mentally right. You wasn't ready to get in the ring against no one. And then on top of all of that, having to go through a nasty divorce and a custody battle for the kids. But the good thing about all of this is it looks like that Jamal Charlo is back with his wife. And we know that's when all of the problems started with Jamal Charlo is when him and his wife separated and then they start to get a divorce and all of that, you know, it seems like Jamal Charlo, he just couldn't deal with it. You know, he couldn't deal with losing his wife, someone that he had been with since the 10th grade. It took a toll on him and he started doing other things, you know, to ease the pain. But we all know that doesn't help. That just makes the situation worse. But like I said, and I made a video on it, you know, Jamal Charlo and Jamel Charlo this weekend, right after Jamal Charlo got slapped by Caleb Plant, Jamal Charlo and Jamel Charlo, they got into it. And the thing that made it look real crazy, right, when Caleb Plant slapped Jamal Charlo, Jamel Charlo was standing right there and he didn't try to do anything to Caleb Plant. Well, you don't want to jump the man, you know what I'm saying? This ain't no street shit. But, I mean, you would think that he would take up for his brother. And then right after that, instead of trying to calm down his brother, he went and he let his wife whoop on Jamal Charlo's wife. And Jamal Charlo was egging it on, standing over his wife while she was beating down Jamal Charlo's wife and rooting her on, saying, yeah, beat her down, beat her down. And so that's the reason that Jamal Charlo and Jamel Charlo had to be separated because they was going to fight each other because Jamal Charlo wasn't feeling that. And then Jamal Charlo started accusing Jamel of putting his hands on his wife. So it was all bad. You know, it was all crazy. But with all that being said and done, Jamal Charlo, he still made sure that he showed up to watch his friend and his partner, Errol Spence, take on Terrence Bud Crawford in one of the biggest fights in boxing in probably the last 20 years. He still made sure that he wasn't going to miss that fight. Now, 
I don't know if Jamal Charlo was banned from the fight. I don't know if they told event staff to not let Jamal Charlo inside the fight or whatever happened because he was already in the arena. I don't know why they're trying to keep Jamal Charlo from going to his seat or maybe they just want to check his ticket. But now you got a lot of people on the internet accusing Jamal Charlo of being just a complete a-hole. They calling Jamal Charlo, you know, all type of names and they accusing him of assaulting a lady that was part of the event staff. Now, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna show y'all the video and then I'm gonna get back and I'm gonna cook on it and I'm gonna give y'all my thoughts on the situation that took place inside the arena. And so now y'all see the video footage for y'all self. And this is exactly why I want to put it up and let everybody see it for themselves. Because people like to stretch things, you know what I'm saying? People like to get on the internet and try to make things more than what they actually was. And like I said, man, I seen a lot of people on the internet calling Jamal Charlo an a-hole and accusing Jamal Charlo of assaulting that old lady when, you know, he could have went about it a different way. Maybe it looked like that they was just basically trying to ask him a few questions, check if he had a ticket, but he was just trying to walk straight through him and he didn't want nobody to say nothing to him. So he definitely could have dealt with it in a different way. But at the end of the day, that man didn't assault nobody. He just walked through them and he was basically, you know, like, don't touch me on some don't touch me type of thing because they was trying to stop him from going to his seat. Now, as far as the event staff, Jamal Charlo is looking at them like, y'all already know who I am. You know what I'm saying? Don't ask me nothing. Y'all already know who I am. Maybe they didn't know who he was. You know what I'm saying? We don't know the situation, but I think that for other people to try to call him all type of names and to blow it up and to make it something that it wasn't, that's just what the internet do. That's just what people do on the internet today. And y'all already know that Jamal Charlo had to be pissed off from everything else that had happened this weekend. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I got to give him props for even showing up to the fight. Because a lot of people didn't even think that Jamal Charlo was going to show his face again after everything that had happened, you know, um, the day before that. You know what I'm talking about? Like I said, it was rough. It was rough on Jamal Charlo. But he going to have to deal with them situations head on. And I'm going to tell y'all right now. He got to get that heads up with Caleb Plant. He got to get in the ring and fight Caleb Plant. He got to get himself back in shape. He got to get his mental in shape. And I think his mental is starting to come together or should be starting to come together now that him and his wife is back together because we know that's where everything stemmed from. His wife leaving him or him having to leave his wife either way it happened. You know what I'm saying? That really ain't none of my business, but they just made all of that public. So we know what went down. We just don't know the ins and the outs and the outs of the ends of what really went down in their household. But we don't need to know because it ain't none of our business. But man, I'm rooting for Jamal Charlo, man. I'm rooting for him to get his shit straight, get back in the ring, and hopefully he can get a tune up in and then fight Boo Boo. That's another fight that everybody been wanting to see for years is him and Boo Boo Andrade fight each other. They've talked about it. They both agreed on it. Now let's see what go down. But Jamal Charlo, man, he's not the youngest in the boxing game. He don't have too much time left. So make the best of the time that you do got left. Anyway, let me know how y'all feel about all of this situation. What y'all just saw in the video footage that I played, y'all. Make sure that you hit my like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subbed to the channel. And y'all already know how I do. There you go talking that boxing again. And I'm gone. Roll quickly, roll mini, plus I'm rolling sticky.